hemodialysis hemodialysis it works on the principle of semi permeability uh, in that blood is taken out and put into the machine machine filtration occurs by semi permeability principle again blood is go out and again machine put into the body it is taken from the artery put into machine and we have a dial dialyzer fluid is there they make av fistula blood is goes from artery to the vein all these veins becomes very enlarged directly blood goes from artery to vein and this is known as arterialization of the vein in that to check patency you put hand you find a member a mem uh, membrane then tell fistula is patient then uh, what are the indications of dialysis like in uh, we we done dialysis in case of acute renal failure chronic renal failure uh, in case of toxins like methanol to toxicity salicylate toxicity in that salicylate uh, toxicity metabolic acidosis with increase anion gap uh, dialysis is not effective in digoxin poison uh, because uh, 99% digoxin uh, bound to tissue free uh, molecules having 1% that's why not effective in digoxin toxicity and, uh, uh, and also dialysis is not effective in barbiturate poisoning copper poisoning kerosene poisoning uh, op poisoning in kerosene poisoning we don't do uh, stomach lavage is not done then uh, indications of dialysis in a chronic renal failure patient uh if patient having metabolic acidosis if patient having electrolyte imbalance the most commonly if increase of uh, potassium level that is hyperkalemia then other uh, other indication for dialysis in crf uh, patient ethylene uh, glycol uh, poisoning methanol poisoning then uh, overload or congestive heart failure severe uremia nausea vomiting or pericarditis uh some features persist even after dialysis like anemia atherosclerosis secondary hyperparathyroid decreased libido stunted growth peripheral neuropathy uh some features that develops after after the dialysis that is hypotension hypotension is most common or most immediately second one is hepatitis third one is adynamic osteomalacia then leukopenia decrease complement level disequilibrium syndrome that is personality change start of occurs uh, personality change occurs with start of few uh, dialysis then one more thing is uh, dementia after many years of dialysis uh, there is aluminum toxicity so uh, one more thing is peritoneal dialysis can be done at home also catheter is placed in a peritoneal cavity now catheter used closed and patient sent back to the home now at night patient take a bag with a dextrose rich fluid it will connect the bag with a catheter and this fluid will go into the peritoneal cavity and this fluid remain in peritoneal cavity over night because peritoneal membrane acts as a dialysis membrane now in morning patient gets up and remove this bag and now it is connect to urine bag and in urine bag whole thing will come and up it and it will throw away this is known as peritoneal dialysis the main disadvantage uh, behind the peritoneal dialysis is some of the dextrose will absorb also and it will cause the diabetes mellitus and weight gain so that's all about the dialysis